but we move on to the men's 100 meters butterfly. And of course, in this race for Australia, we have not only Matthew Temple, who is the fastest qualifier, but also Cody Simpson, who's out there in lane two. Huge for Cody Simpson, made this team. We know of his transformation from pop star to Australian swim team member and wanted to get into a final. And here he is, the men's 100 butterfly final. Chad Leclerc going for three in a row at Commonwealth Games level. And Emma stays on pool deck to watch. Matthew Temple lane for the Australian record holder. Peters of England in one, Cody in two, James Guy in three, Temple four, Leclerc five. Leendo Edwards of Canada in six, Knox of Canada in seven, and Ingram of England in lane eight. Take your marks. So away we go, final of the men's 100 butterfly, Chadlett Clough, the great South African, chasing some history of his own in lane five. Got away okay, not a brilliant start. Leendo Edwards, who was the bronze medalist at the world titles only about a month ago in lane six, a good start from him. Cody going okay in the back half of this field and lane four, Matthew Temple's going to go around in the top three. So it's Leendo Edwards, Peters, Temple, Cody Simpson back in sixth spot. He's going to need to bring it home. Leendo Edwards now up alongside him, Matthew Temple. Temple racing up for a share of the lead. Australia right within striking distance. Cody back in about sixth. Leendo Edwards lifting, finding a little. Temple lunges, just misses. Dead heat for silver. Leendo Edwards wins the gold. And Matty Temple, a share of silver. Cody Simpson flashed home and finishes fifth in his first final at Commonwealth Games and international level. Matthew Temple, a share of the silver medal with James Guy and Cody Simpson in fifth. Chad Leclerc, who was looking for three in a row in fourth position. Leendo Edwards, we're used to that trademark start. Matt Temple always so strong underwater off the turn. I thought he was going to get there. Edwards looked like he was starting to tighten up just in the closing stages of the race. And it came down to the touch on the wall. Look at this underwater work. And it came down to the final touch. Temple a little bit long. Edwards deciding wow. to take an additional stroke, which was the difference. Fifty two oh six for Cody Simpson in fifth spot. Leclo fifty one six one. And have a look at that on top. Joshua Leendo Edwards, who we've been watching during this meet, he's had some great results. We have and he's been coming. And, and we've been talking to everyone. Uh, he's out the first fifty meters. He's always in front. Great start, great underwater, great first part of the race. And that's the first 50 metres, has been able to do it now and be able to deliver to the 100 metre mark. But we have Kate Campbell and she's with the Australian men. I am with the Australian men, Thorpey. Matthew Temple, I'm going to start with you. This is your Commonwealth Games debut and you have just won yourself a silver medal. Yeah, pretty, pretty over the moon. It's pretty unreal. Your speed off the turn is phenomenal. Do you just like get a sense of where people are and feel like you're going to hunt them down? Um, I think underwaters and the turns are one of my specialty. So I try to use that to my advantage and get in front of everyone else. Well, you did just that and we loved watching you. Cody, I'm going to bring you in. Come on over, come on over. This is not the last time we're going to see Cody Simpson. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, yeah, it was just an amazing experience. I talked to my coach before the race and he said, whatever happens, you're just gathering intel, gaining experience. And i uh, glad I kind of went out there and just put together the best race I could tonight and just off my PB. So I can't ask for much more aside from just learning how to 
deal with the experience and the pressure of it and it's very exciting. Most people have years, decades even, to perfect this and you're having to pick it up in just a couple of years. You always seem so cool, calm and collected. We know you're used to performing in front of big crowds. What's more nerve-wracking? Walking out for a final of the Commonwealth Games or going out and performing in front of 10,000 screaming teenagers? Yeah, right now, honestly, it's this. I think I, uh, I think, you know, with, with experience come, comes confidence and I'm still gathering the experience, so therefore still gaining confidence. But yeah, like, I'm happy to be here. And, and you know, I think uh, win or lose today, I'm gonna go back and to the drawing board and make sure I come back stronger. And I'm already far, uh, I'm already way ahead of where I thought I'd be at this stage, so, yeah. It has been a meteoric rise, a phenomenal effort, and you're really rewriting what people can do in this sport. We're usually seeing people come in as teenagers and you're told if you're entering as a teenager, you're too late. Yeah, I just don't think that's true, you know, and I think um, especially now that people are swimming later into their, into their 20s, it leaves so much room to be able to uh, come into it late if you want to and I, uh, I want to inspire young people to know that they can do whatever it is they want to do even if they feel like it's too late or they're too old just to pick something up because it's never too late. Well, it's never too late and we have loved watching you. This is just the beginning. Congratulations. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thanks.